If you're a 3D artist like me and you want to post to Reels or you want to try, I'm going to show you something that I've been using for a while, it seems to work pretty well, and it's not really a lot of work to put that format together. Basically, the format is going to be a before and after. It may seem like this format favors itself towards animated renders, but you can still use this format if you're making still renders. All right, so here's my animation in Blender. I have the viewport shading mode turned on, and that's really gonna be the clip that I wanna export. So I already have my final rendered. This is just, you know, standard Porsche format, 1080 by 1920. If you wanna change the colors of the lighting of the material, or if you wanna change it to something more wacky, you can select matte cap, and here you have a wider selection of colors and materials. You can even do random, which kind of gives it this like clown pattern. Every object has a slightly different hue. Really up to you. I think sometimes this can play to your advantage. Like it can be really eye catching. I like keeping all the lights and all the extra like gizmos and things turned on just because it makes the scene feel more chaotic and busy and you can really see a little bit under the hood. So I'm going to go up here, go to view and then viewport render animation. And that will just render out the viewport from the camera with the effect of the viewport into it. And I didn't do it here, but you're just gonna wanna make sure to name it something identifiable. So don't call it the same thing as your final because it may overwrite it if it's being saved in the same place. So now let's jump over into Instagram and I'll show you how I put the clips together into a reel. All right, so here we are in Instagram. I've just selected my two clips. So I'm gonna go into the edit view. And here I'm just going to select basically the first two, three seconds, keeping it really, really short because what you're doing is you're basically asking the audience to watch for the reveal, to wait. And that's, you know, very precious with people scrolling and, you know, looking at memes and shit that's way funnier or way more entertaining than uh, your 3D render. You're going to want to be as quick to the reveal as possible. So I like to just keep my viewport view very short, maybe like two, three seconds, just to kind of set the stage of what they're about to see the final version of. My final render does start with the camera pointed down, but I feel like as a reveal, that's a little bit, I don't know, unfair. It's not really impactful. So I'm going to trim that portion down. This can be just one of the two or three or four ways that you can post this specific piece. So if you're like, I want to show the full piece in all of its glory, that can be its own separate post. If you want to kind of show it in a trendy real format, that can be a different way. You can cut it up a little bit. If you want to show different angles, or there's a lot of different ways you can show off your artwork, but the most consistent thing is here's the one version and here's the second version. All right. So I think that pace looks good and it also keeps it to around seven seconds which is like very uh respectful i'm gonna look for a song maybe it's something that i've saved that i think could work good yeah this one sounds good so i'm just gonna hit done and then as it's processing and it's all set up i'm just looking for where the drop is and i think the drop is right here i'm gonna tap the audio adjust selection and then bring it over to where uh, if i zoom in a little bit we can see that this is where it transitions so then that'll be the drop so let's test Yeah, that's very nice. It's like this epic, dreamy uh, dubstep track. And so I'm just going to add very simple text just to give the average viewer who is not an artist, who is not a Blender artist, who doesn't know what the hell they're looking at, just a bit of context. Like, hey, here's what's about to happen. You're about to see the viewport versus the final. You're about to see the early version versus the whatever. You know what I mean? Like, So I'm going to add just some text here. I'm going to say viewport versus final. And that's it. doesn't have to be anything fancy, just right in the middle there. I'm going to move the text so that it's placed at the beginning, and then it kind of cuts off just before the, the switch over, just so that you have like a split second to see the composition before you see the final. Cool. I think that's pretty impactful, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, the cover, again, you can add text to the cover if you want. So that really is up to you. You can look for a frame that you think, like this frame looks good. Viewport versus final already has it on there. I'm just going to kind of zoom in a little bit like that so it's easy to see. I definitely need to charge my phone. Sorry about that. And then for the caption, I personally value when artists share a little bit about their process or about the post itself or what I'm looking at, either talking about like what went into it, some fun fact, anything like that. I think it's it's always nice to share that with your audience, especially if you have people who are like interested in your work, or you can just kind of give it a title or you can be super nonchalant and just not have any caption and just have hashtags. If you want like hashtag ideas or whatever, just go to my page, feel free to take the hashtags I use. I mean, I do the same thing. I just look at other creators and then just like whatever I think fits, just kind of paste the same stuff. It's all the same. So that's how you make 
make a formatted reel for an animation. Let me show you a different format you can use. So this is the angle where my final animation is from. But you see how I go in and out of camera? You can see the final angle is about here. And that's going to be the trick to what we use. You kind of start recording your screen, know that you're going to end here, and then go like move it up here, right? So you can adjust your viewport camera settings by going to view. You can change your focal length here but I like it at a wide angle. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna move down a little bit and then I'm going to adjust my angle to be like this. So I think that is pretty much close to my final angle and that's it. I've just kind of recorded that small section and then I'm gonna go into something like DaVinci, drag my screen recording in, drop it here on the timeline, trim that in. All right, cool. So that's pretty much all I need. It's just that bit. Change my timeline settings to use vertical resolution. That's really all I need. So I'm just gonna export that bit. I really need to charge my damn phone. I'm really risking it all for you guys here. All right, so I brought the file from Google Drive and I'm gonna select the new one we made and the render. I'm gonna skip past the auto sync. And you can see the idea here is gonna be we kind of align up our shot. I'm gonna trim it just a little bit. And then when you have this white box with a line in the middle, that's for transitions. And this is going to be perfect for the zoom transition. I'm going to take out my final render and just kind of cut out that first part a little bit again. So when it's zoom transitions from that angle, it like goes into the artwork. I really think that that looks cool and is really engaging. And it's one that I used a lot, especially when I did the Acura render. So if you want to go back and watch those, you can see me doing that a lot. It's just, it just became a thing that I would do all the time. Whatever template you use, if you can make it your own in just a little bit of the way, I think it's going to put like your stamp on it and then other people can use it. And then you feel like, you know, the community is sharing this template. I think that looks nice you can definitely do this with like a still render so you can show the full scene and then jump into the camera view and then show the final render in this like zoom zoomed in way if you have any questions about posting content or posting to reels i know it can be a little bit scary you know you to post your put your artwork out there put yourself out there but um yeah i hope this helps i hope it makes it a little bit easier and more fun and uh thanks for watching see ya